Hey guys and welcome to How to RC. In today's video we're going to take a look at some Kmart RC vehicles. We do of course have two in front of us right now but I will do this green one in a separate video and we will look at that at a later date. In today's video though our main focus is going to be this red one which is known as the Phantom High Speed Racing Buggy. So my first impressions through this box it looks like it could be a four-wheel drive vehicle but I'm pretty certain based on the front assembly or the steering links, it is a rear wheel drive, but it just looks like it's a four wheel drive. So this is a, if we zoom in here, it is a four plus years model. It is a 1 18th scale and it has full direction steering. Uh, this is noted as a hobby grade vehicle, which in terms of this, as I noted from Perth RC, uh, this is known as a hobby grade vehicle just because of the ability to remove the top of the shell and the fact that it has real working RC suspension and proper steering links. So on this side of the box there is an image of the buggy. On the back we have another image of the buggy and the controller down there in the left hand corner. This is of course a crystal set so there is no point 2.4 gigahertz settings in these buggies they still run on crystals so this one is the 40 megahertz model on the bottom of the box here we have all the directions on how to get the buggy going so on the left here we have the battery installation for the buggy and the battery installation for the transmitter these at this particular state do have a huge battery volume to make them run but at a later point i intend to do a modification on these to allow them to run a lipo and on the other edge of the box it is pretty much the same okay guys so that's a quick run over on the box we'll pull this buggy out and we'll have a look at it up close okay guys once you've got all the bits out of the box this is what you will find is the contents you've got your two-wheel drive buggy up there your transmitter and you'll also have two black tubes so this one here is the antenna that goes into the remote and this one right here is the antenna for the buggy. To fully complete the setup of this vehicle, you will of course need six AA batteries, four for the car, two for the remote, and a small sized Phillips head screwdriver. So I'll do a quick installation and setup of this buggy guys, and then we can take it for a quick run around. And there you have it the buggy and the transmitter are complete so to turn these vehicles or the vehicle and the transmitter on on the back of the remote at the very top here there is the power switch so you turn this guy or push this to the front that'll turn the remote on and you'll get the glowing light same similar process for the buggy you turn this upside down and your power switch is just here below the steering flick this forward and the vehicle should be on there is the steering, 
it's not entirely proportional so it is a little jittery but it does have forward and reverse movement all right let's take this buggy over and set up a course and we'll do a little bit of a run around okay so i was going to go outside and test this buggy in a proper large environment but unfortunately today the weather is atrocious outside so we are pretty much water locked inside the house so we will unfortunately have to use the lounge which isn't very spacious but it's enough space for us to actually test out this buggy at a later point when the weather does actually clear up i'll take this buggy out and we can actually test it in the outdoors environment and see how well it does so we'll drive around this area and do some quick maneuvers with the buggy see what it can do i have noticed so far though that this buggy does have a bit of a signal loss if the aerial on the transmitter is not high enough above the buggy but in most cases you wouldn't normally be sitting down so the vehicle would have full control and response to the remote it is lacking a little bit in the power department seeing as that it's running on double a batteries at a later point when this is running on a lipo this little guy should punch out a lot more power due to the fact that the batteries are triple a or double a's instead of a lipo this is contributing to a very slow takeoff speed and a very slow turn the buggy is pretty zippy though once it gets up and moving i'll set it up just here beside me and i'll do a quick speed run from underneath the camera and we'll see just what kind of speed it can get up to in this little area so it does have a bit of pep it is zippy a few minor tweaks and stuff and i think this little guy could actually be quite a contender especially if you were stuck inside on a rainy day and you weren't able to use your full scale rcs okay guys a few minor things before we wrap this video up i should also mention though that this buggy does have a trim on the bottom of the chassis here so if you are noticing that there are performance issues and the vehicle is pulling to left or right you can of course of course adjust this little lever down here to the left or right to correspond with the direction that the truck or buggy is not moving and for anyone who is curious as to what is underneath this body shell i will attempt to try and take this off but i think it might actually have yeah they've got a bit of uh, plastic in there that kind of stops it from coming off but i think if you were to cut that edge off you would actually be able to pull the shell off the vehicle and see what was underneath I would also like to apologize guys for all this clutter in the background here due to the bad weather outside i have been confined to the house so the only area that i can really do recording at the moment with decent lighting is on my editing desk hence the reason why there's all this cables and stuff at the back all right guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed this buggy let me know down the bottom what you thought of it if you find it in kmart i would say it's worth picking up especially for a little bit of a run around inside and we'll find out later on just how well it does in the outdoor environment, especially once we put a lipo in there and we boot it up so that it can do some good jumps. If you're not part of this channel already, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for some more awesome RCs. Of course, there is this one that we've reviewed where next we'll have a look at the green buggy. And there is, of course, a blue four-wheel drive, slightly larger 112 scale buggy that we'll have a look at at a later point as well. But until next time, guys, as always, I'll see you on the track.